Hello everyone, this is Anna with the Potomac Bee Company and today I'm going to show you how to make these beaded balls with a star pattern around um, each top and bottom sphere of the ball. I have some 15 O's, 11 O's, and 8 O's seed beads. My 8 O's here are the canary, um, the Picasso canary yellow. I have some garnet lined ruby 11's and some cranberry lined peridot AB 15's. The other bead that I'm going to need is my Potomac crystal rondelles. These are this pretty transparent blue color. My needle and thread. I have a needle in a size 10, and then I have this Beadalon Wildfire Frost uh, .006. I have a thinner thread at .006 so that it's easier for me to pass through uh, some of these beads more than once. I also always have some super new glue nearby as well as some scissors, some little thread snips to cut my thread and some flat nose pliers always come in handy. To begin the bead, I'm going to pick up five 11 O's. I'm going to run my 11 O's down my thread. Got about two feet here, and I'm going to leave a tail of about five or six inches going to take my needle and run it back through all of these 11's in the same direction so that when I pull my thread is going to make a circle. I'm going to take my needle through at least one more of these 11's and that's going to help close that circle so it's real tight and there's no gaps in between those beads. So at the top of my little star here, I've got 111 with both ends of my thread, the tail end and the tail that I'm still working with coming out on either side. I'm now going to work around, around this little star and I'm working counterclockwise. I'm going to pick up a 15 an 8 and a 15 and I'm going to add this little uh, section of three beads to the outside of my circle. I'm going to take my needle and run it back through that 111 O and when I pull my thread tight those three beads will be nestled right up against that 11. I'm going to go through the next 11, pick up those same three beads, my 15, my 8, and my 15, and take my needle back through that one 11 again. So I'm adding these three beads, my 11, or I'm sorry, my 15, my 8 and my 15 to the outside of each 11. This is my last 11 that I need to go through. And I'm picking up that 15, 8, and 15, and circling back around that 111. And I pull tight to make sure that all of my beads are close to one another and I don't have much thread showing in between them. Coming out the top of that 11, I'm going to go through the 15 and the 8 so that I'm coming out the bottom of that 8 on the outside of my star. 
I'm gonna flip my star here so that it's easier for me to work so that my thread is now coming out the top and I'm in position to work counterclockwise again. In between each of these eights, I'm going to add a crystal. Pick up a crystal and just bring your needle through the next eight in the circle. I try to always hold that tail thread in my left hand because when you're working on such a small project, the tail thread is always going to be right in your way. It's always going to be right where you're working. And so I try to hold it off to the side as best as I can. I've now gone around the outside of my little um, star I went through all of my eights and added a crystal in between each one. Give a nice tug, make sure everything is nice and tight. And now I'm going to repeat the steps that I did initially when I added my three beads to the outside of my 11s. I'm going to add three beads to the outside of my eights this time. I have an 11 here, an 8, and an 11, and I'm going to add these three beads to the first 8 that I picked up. And as I travel around the outside line of beads, I'm going to go through a crystal, go through the next 8, pick up these three beads, my 11, my 8, and my 11 and I'm going to circle around the first eight, the eight from that first line of eights. I'm working on adding a second line or second row of eights. This is the last 8 that I need to come through. And I'm adding those three beads to the outside. So now I have a second row of eights that I've added. And I'm making my hexagon, or my pentagon, I'm sorry, making my pentagon a little bit larger. Coming out the top of that inside eight, I'm going to take my needle through the 11 and the outside eight. And I'm gonna flip this again so that my thread's coming out the top. And again, I'm working counterclockwise. Now I'm going to pick up a line of four seed beads, four of my eights, or I'm sorry, four of my elevens, and I'm going to add these in between all of the outside eights, so each point of my pentagon here. This line of beads that I'm adding now marks the center or 
the equator of my sphere. As you add these 11 O's and you pull tight, you'll see that you now have half of a little sphere formed here. I'm going to, after I've added my last and fifth line of 11 O's, I'm going to take my needle and continue around the circle. And I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna continue through uh, the next five 11's and the next eight and give a good tug. I'm going to go back through these beads because it'll help me get a good grip and it will help just tighten everything up. Now coming out one of my 11's or I'm sorry one of my 8's I now need to begin the second half of my sphere. I'm going to need a little bit more of my 8's and my 11's. And it looks like my 15s too are running pretty low. Coming out of one of my 11s here, I'm going to um, basically make a mirror image of the first section that I've done. So I'm going to pick up an 8, or I'm sorry, an 11, an 8, and an 11. and then loop back around through this outside eight. So now I'm gonna have on each um, point of my pentagon, I'm gonna have this little arm coming out the side. I'm gonna take my needle through the four eight, or through the four 11 O's to get to the next 80, cross through that 80 as well, pick up an 11, an 8, and an 11, circle back around, go back through that 80, through my 11s, through the next 8, and add that little trim, that little arm that's going to stick out the side. Once I've added this last little arm here, this is actually going to look like a little starfish. So I have a puffed center here, which is the top half of my sphere, and then those three beads that I just added at each point are going to look like little arms on my starfish. I'm going to continue through the, the 80 here. And I'm going to get my needle through the 11 and the 8 that I added to the outside. So that now my thread's coming out that 80 at the end of the arm. My next step here is to add my crystals. So I'm going to pick up a crystal and add that in between each one of my eights as I travel around my star. And as I add these beads, the arms will fold up and I'll start to see the top half of my, sp of my sphere forming. When I go through my last eight, I'm going to also go through a crystal and the next eight, and that will allow me to get a really good grip 
and pull tight to pull all of those beads there at the top together. Now the very last thing I need to do, the very last step adding beads, is to pick up a 15, an 11, and a 15, making sure that I'm coming out of an 8, and I'm going to add this little 3 bead fringe to the outside of 8 -o. Go through a crystal and another 8 -o. And again, add this little three bead fringe. I have one more 8 here that I need to add my little fringe to. And as I go through that last 8 I'm also going to go through a crystal and through the next 8 Give a nice tug. And then I'm going to take my needle up through a 15 and an 11 to get to the very top, the very tippy top of my project all on the outside here. Now I just need to close this hole by taking, by running my needle through all of these 11s at the top and just cinching this top closed. Once I've run through all of these 11s at least once, I'm going to give a good tug. Now mine closed up um, pretty quickly. Um, if you have a hard time getting it real tight, take your needle and just pop these crystals out. Sometimes they get kind of stuck in there and then that prevents you from getting um, a really tight hole at the top here. So just take the end of your needle and just kind of pop them out. I'm going to run through all of these beads at the top again through the circle of 11s. And this is why I'm using my thinner thread here because it'll make it a little bit easier for me if it's um, thinner. And when you've gone through enough times and you feel like everything's pretty secure and the hole is pretty close and tight, I'm just going to tie off my thread. I'm going to make a loop here. I'm going to go under the existing thread and take my needle through that loop. Give a good tug and continue through some more of my beads to hide the tail of my thread. When you've gone through enough beads, I'm going to just take my scissors here and get a nice close cut. And that is it. The very, very last step is just to take your tail thread here, uh, thread the needle on it, and do the same thing and just tie that off. Here are the two original beads that I've got, all finished. You can see they're really sparkly, and if you've got a pair like the ones that I have here, they work really well for earrings. Uh, my plan for these is to wear them to um, a fancy event like uh, a fancy birthday party um, or maybe a wedding because they do sparkle quite a bit. Hope you guys have a lot of fun making this. Um, I had a lot of fun showing you guys. Um, happy beading! Mm -hmm.